Hello colleagues, my name is Possible and I'll be your tutor for today. In our previous discussion, we look at the definition of GDP, whereby we said that it is the market value or the monetary value of all goods and services that have been produced by the residents of a country. And then from there, we look at the components of GDP, whereby we said that the components includes consumption, investment, government expenditure, exports, and imports. From there, we look at the difference between national income and then domestic income. And then we ask ourselves a question that, why is it important to differentiate domestic income from, from national income? Today is of no exception. We are going to start with some of the items that must be excluded from the computation of GDP. That is the, ex the exemptions or exceptions of GDP. Now we are saying that the first item or transaction that must be excluded from GDP is what is called intermediate goods. When you talk about intermediate goods, they are the goods or they are the machinery, let me say capital, right? They are the goods or they are the items that are used for further production. So we can conclude from the definition that intermediate goods are capital goods. This is because we use capital goods for further production. We use capital goods more than one financial year or more than one economic year. And then because of that, we are saying that we are not going to capture them. If we capture the intermediate goods, it is going to lead to what is called double counting. I hope you are getting it. Now, intermediate goods are not going to be used. So when you see that the intermediate goods, mostly you get it in the product approach or the value added approach or production or output approach. Right, so when you see the intermediate goods, make sure to deal with it accordingly because it is not going to be added to the computation of the GDP. If the question says that it is included, make sure to subtract it. So that is the intermediate goods. The next one is what is called transfer payment. Transfer payment, we don't add it. In the sense that it is a money that has been given to the household um, for no economic activities that they have performed. Let me come again. That means when you give the transfer payment to the household, they provide no service in return. That is what I'm trying to say. So it's the money that we give to the household for no return of service. I hope you are getting it. So we just touch it. We just give them to them. Examples of this are gifts and then the rest. So we are saying that transfer payments are not supposed to be included in the computation of the GDP. Mostly, the transfer payment occurs or appears in the computation of the GDI. That is by using the income approach. The income approach, GDI. Under the income approach, we don't add the transfer payment. Why? This is because the transfer payment is going to be used in the computation of the personal income. So, if the question says calculate for the personal income, that is where you are going to use the transfer payment. Because in the formula for the computation of the personal income is the NNP next national product at factor cost plus all incomes received but not earned. Minus all incomes earned, but not received. But transfer payment is an income received, but has not been earned. We have not worked for it, but we have received it. So we use it under the computation of the personal income. But under the computation 
of the national income, which is the net national product or the net national income and factor cost, we are going to subtract it. Put it at the back of your mind. The next one is the used goods or the second-hand goods. So I have told you why you are going to exclude this because it does not involve any economic activity. The reason why you are going to exclude the transfer payment is that it does not include any economic activity. And the reason why we are going to exclude the intermediate goods is that it's going to lead to double counting. Now, the used goods or the second hand, we are going to exclude it because that one also will lead to double counting. And when we talk about used goods or second hand goods, we are going to exclude them. In the sense that if we capture them, they are going to lead us to what is called double counting. So our figure will mislead the statistical anal um, analyst, right? So what you are trying to say is that the used goods or the second hand goods are going to be excluded in the computation of the GDP. Why are we doing that? This is in the sense that the, the person or the household that initially or first handed purchased the goods captured the item in the GDP as at that very time or that very date, right? So if you are buying it as a second-hand person and then you capture it in the computation of the GDP, it means that you have added it twice. I'm coming again. Listen to me carefully. We are not going to capture it because as at the date that the commodities were being purchased first, that they were purchased first or original. Those values or market values of those items were captured in the computation of the GDP. So if you are buying it from different person, second-hand person, do not capture it because if you capture it, it will lead to double counting. It has already been captured in the computation of the GDP. So that is how it is. So in all, there are some other items that must be excluded from the computation of the GDP. But for time's sake, we are going to look at these three major items or these three thematic items. Make sure to search for the rest. Sometimes too, we, we have to exclude transfer of um, financial instruments. Financial instruments. If you are reading International Financial Reporting Standard, um, nine, it talks about the financial instrument and then the fair value measurement of them. We, yes, we exclude them. If I'm holding shares and then I transfer the shares to different person, that one, uh, we are saying that it's not going to be captured here, right? Because there has not been any economic activity, right? So be searching for some of the items that must be excluded from the computation of the GDP. But for time's sake, these are the very thematic item that must be um, excluded or that must be known at hand. Okay. Once again, my name is possible. And then from Ghana. Watch out from our next lecture. Whilst we are going to begin with gross national products. Gross national product. GNP. At market price. Thank you. Bye-bye.